Hey guys, um, I realized that the tutorial that I made was pretty bad, so I'll be doing a full rundown of the tutorial. So, so by the time you guys already should have um CX File Explorer downloaded not on your oculus but downloaded what you want to do you want to press x music profiles and then you can see this once you're here you want to press default edit this like edit this place um, let me just press these. They don't do nothing. I don't know why I did that. Don't don't do what I just did. I don't know what I, I don't know what I did. Yeah, I'm just kidding, guys. Go to I right, go here and then turn all these to show. Then put this on enable. Once you do that, go back here. Content, content browser, local files, all files, wait, downloads. You see the good downloads and stuff here. See, if you don't see CX File Explorer, that's okay. Oh, you guys aren't supposed to see that. Let's just go here. This is V download it real quick. Uh you here's a disclaimer. We will be using CX File Explorer to get three more apps so we can access your OBBs and Pat's Bone Lab. Once you once your thing is done download, you want to go into downloads and you just want to look carefully because you might not see it the first time. In my case, I don't see it at all. Let's go to downloads again. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try and look false. This, 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 this. You should see this don't work. This is meant, it's not supposed to work. But who? I'm just crash my thing. Don't crash my thing like I just did. Okay, so go back here. First, request access. And here's what you want to do go to Quest 2, downloads, look for CX Fog Explorer, which would have an Android thing. It says it this right here. You want to press fully open. This isn't supposed to pop up, but yeah, I mean, just do that. Just press the blue button, and it should be installing correctly. God damn it! Get the hell off my screen. Okay, guys. Now that we have CX Fox Floor, we want to open up downloads. Once we open our downloads, we want to look for three things. Three things only. Uh, 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 
Um, if things are like down here. First, we're gonna download side quest for the a side quest APK, an NP manager APK. Go to the melon loader installer, get permission bypass APK. I'll link that in the description. And Suzuku APK. You can look these two up. You have to go like search around for this one. And this, um, I'm gonna watch a video on that one. I forgot how to do that. No, I'm not updating this. Once you're in your Oculus side quest, just go here. Then press lightning. Lightning launcher. And for this next point, you will need developer mode enabled. I'm gonna press side load now. I'm not doing it because I already have it, but let's just close the let's close all of these real quick, guys. So I can show you what to do next. So if you did those correctly, you should have you can open apps, you should have Lightning Launcher, Suzuku, and NP Manager. And Suzuku. Okay. Now what you want to do for lemon loader, go to melon loader. Loader. Go to the wiki. Get started. Android support work in progress. Installation. Lemon loader wiki. Installation. Releases. Permission bypass APK. Look this. Look, you need this. So just download that. Once you downloaded that, you can just install it through CX File Explorer again. But for the next part, you will need developer mode enabled on your Oculus. Um, duh. So you can, like, bypass your things. So, let's go down here. You want to go to... Any... No. First. You want to patch Bone Lab. And before you patch a Bone Lab, you want to do this. Go to Android Settings and your Lightning Launcher. Go all the way down. System. Developer Options. Wireless Debugging. Turn this on. You will need developer mode enabled, by the way. And if you don't know how to get it, just go to, um... Oh, no, not this. You should see, like, a developer's options button right here. So here's what you want to do after this. Go to... Suzuku. Pairing. Back to back to Android settings. Let me just open this inside menu. All right, you you want you want to press this like. I'm gonna press one of these five times. Be on number one, two, three, four, five. No need your audio developer. So I've got a system. Developer options. While this debugging is on, let's go into this. I'm gonna forget this. And we're gonna pair device of new code and it should pop up right here. Seven seven one nine five three one. Once it's paired, you wanna press start. And once this pops up, you can just wait for it to close or press X. You wanna go over here, you should see MP manager, turn this off, turn that back on. So now when you access your NP manager, you can access your files. Now, once you have NP Manager open, you want to go down to your Bone Lab file and you see two OBB files. Open like your open like something like your alarms, a photo that has nothing in it, and then move the, and then move these two out. You do not want these in Bone Lab while you patch it. Now, once they're out, you want to go to Lemon Installer. It's gonna take a while because it's getting all your games if you have a bunch, but it should be shorter if you only have one. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, you should see this. Just press skip, skip, and this button right here. This should be a button right here, seeing something. Allow it to access all the files. Then you should see your games right here. Press Bone Lab. 
Understood. Then press patch. It's gonna take it's gonna take a while to be patching, but once it's done patching, you wanna go back over here, back to NP Manager. Let's open this back up again. You just wanna put your OBBs back. So once your OBBs are back in, that's Bone Lab. So what you wanna do after this, you wanna launch Bone Lab fully. Like, make sure that you spawn in in the main menu or the void or whatever. If you spawn in fully, that means Bone Lab has successfully passed. And, I'm, I'm putting a disclaimer at the video already. You have to be on patch 3 Bone Lab for this to work. If you don't know how to get the patch 3, look up a video, a tutorial. I'm not doing it today. I'm too tired. So, once you have this, let's go to the Thunder Store. Bone Lab. So, here are the things that you want. You want to press Bone Lib? You want to get Bone Lib? Actually, it's best that you press Most Downloaded. You want to press Bone Lib? You want to get Fusion? You want to get Vagdoll Player? And if you want, you can get Mod IO Networker. Don't get Infinite Ammo. It lags the game. And once you get that, you can go here. And you can get Tide Fusion, which is a new P2B networking layer. So, once we have all of those, let's go into your own. Yeah, let's go into data and go to Bone Lab and then go to files. This is where you get your mods at. Go to downloads, open your mods. I'm going to go all the way down until you see something. One of the mods that you downloaded. For example, let's get, um, let's see here. Let's get, um, ah, shit. If that happens, just, we just go back to, like, lightning launcher, turn on the wireless debugging, press start again. La 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 la, you know. Simple things. So... You see Bone Lib? It's to have two things. Mods and plugins. Go to your mod folder. You see this? Hold on to this and then press extract. And then when you see plugins, just exit out and it should be like a plugins folder. Press that. Do that. And just repeat that with all your other mods and I'll show you and I'll get in to show you guys what to do. Um, yeah, it's going to take a while to load in because, you know, <sighs> unofficial because <laughs> you patch bone and now has to load in all the code and junk. Oh my gosh, it's taking forever. It's longer than expected. Pause. Hey, I said pause. What are you doing to me? Oh, uh, uh. Right, let me stop. Okay, guys. Kind of lagging. Because I'm recording. You you won't be this laggy, guys. Trust me. I have to be this. Told you guys. And you, you should see this behind you. This. And this. Okay.
Okay. So here's the most um exclusive part of this. You wanna go to the bone lab? You should see this, this, this if you installed it, this. So you wanna go to um, network layer manager, target layer, cycle this until it's just tight, and then restart your game. And then once you do that, you wanna go to matchmaking, P2P matchmaking, server info. It's a starter server, you need to port forward. God, guys, port forwarding, I cannot help you on that. It is router specific, provider specific. Just find a, just search it up on YouTube, kind of find a video of that. What you want to do, um, display server code, I'm not pressing that for my safety. But, um, you should be inside. Fusion should work. Yes, I have screens, I have proof of it working with people. I'll put them up on the screen now. And, yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you don't have Bone Lab, you could just pirate it for free, but you didn't get that from me, okay? That's I got. I didn't pirate it, but I spent the money, and I found out how to pirate it. I got scammed. I hate my life.